I'm Lana. Hi, I'm Ashlyn. And this is the Second Breakfast Club. And today we're finally reacting to all of the Love Yourself highlight reels. We're watching the combined one. I haven't seen it. I'm very excited. You guys all know I'm like a BTS theorist. And so I'm, I'm going completely blind. I've been avoiding most comments about it. I've been like just working really, really hard to make this fresh and surprising. So that said, don't expect any grand theories after I watch it. I usually develop theories from watching it a bunch of times, but you get to see my first impressions. So. Oh, I've already watched it. Yeah, she, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so you get a more mature reaction from her. Oh, and, mature, And yeah. a, like excited new reaction from me. So she hasn't told me anything. So y'all ready to watch this with me? And we're watching it with subs. I don't know if they come up on the video, but we do have the English subs on, so we're getting everything. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Lana's mind's secretly blowing right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just very excited. More narration. Sounds like an anime. Oh, she looks like she's dancing to the music. Oh, Fits with your theory. <sighs> yeah, it does. I'm secretly expecting, though, that it has nothing to do. She's so cute! She is. I want to be her. I'm just so far really, really thrilled with the direction they're taking this. Because I really want the story to wrap up, hopefully. We've got trains again, train imagery. Ooh, dates. I love it when they give me dates. She says, do you know how fast you were going? Well, I'm immediately getting a feeling like these girls are maybe not real. Because, like, who does that? That's angel stuff. That's what Lana wishes she could do to me every time I say. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Where did she get that lollipop? Well, that's why I, <laughs> she says unwrapped and everything. Well, that's why I'm saying so far they don't seem like real people. Mm -hmm. Especially if it turns out there's a girl for each of them. We all know that if Ramon had to try to pick up those, <laughs> they were the best. Yeah, they would. They would have been gone. Oh, he's so handsome. I wish American boys were more into the lollipop aesthetic. That's my aesthetic. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, <laughs> oh, the lollipops. I was uh, gonna no, say. I was no, gonna the say, noodles. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say my aesthetic is eating noodles. Yeah, the noodles. <laughs> That looks like Seoul to me. Is that 7-Eleven? There's 7-Elevens all over the place. Oh wow. <laughs> That's 
just what they were doing before filming. <laughs> And that's how I look at cake too. <laughs> so often, right? Oh, do we have an unrequited thing going on? knows is that she left him a Snickers which is yeah remember. well and that kind of ties in with Demian because his mom would give him Snickers bars to make him calm down bro I'm trying to watch something here so is this the second one now? Uh, okay, I didn't know if it would be like a break or... I gotta say, this is all like Jimin is still dead vibey to me. I wonder, so some of these girls seem more real than others. I'm wondering if this is a universe where V's sister like, is that V's sister? I think so. It looks like it. Like, that'd be why he could have stopped her from stealing. I'm not a theorist. I wish I was. Well, I'm just throwing stuff out. I have yeah. no idea. So, so far, Jungkook, maybe Rat Monster, and Suga's girls don't seem real to me. But the one with Jimin and J-Hope and V both seemed more interactive with the world. It's like this is very Angel. Guardian Angel. Yeah, he didn't even look at her and then he looks over at the music. Not even yeah, see? Her. I don't ship it in real life, but in the theory, I ship it so hard. I know you do. <laughs> you <and> cook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a theorist, guys. <laughs> it's a great theory. <laughs> True that Jimin once said he'd had uh, he'd once been in love with a girl who he never told, like he was dealing with unrequited love. Maybe he's processing that here, because it seems very much what that that is, you know. Oh, the birth sweater! <laughs> it's like an angel being born when he pulls it on. It's business, Jin. Do not sleep with a lollipop in your mouth. It's gonna get in your hair. He's like, oh, that beaver took my lighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I get up too. That took a turn. I'm living for Jin's voice. He pronounces things very well. Yeah. I don't even know the language, and it's very crisp. Relatable. He's 
dancing by himself. I don't know why that reminds me of Cinderella, but you know what I mean, like... Is he falling asleep? Who? Jin. Jin? Yeah, when he was driving there, he closed his eyes. Oh, no. I just keep going back to my theory he died going over a bridge, that's all. Was that Jimin washing bloody hands? It looks like he tried to commit suicide. Well, he's washing his hands. Yeah, blood was coming off. And, it, and the girl they share is hurt. But remember, Jimin and her both dropped at the same time. Uh, and there he is in the water. Yeah, and water is, his, run. water is his depression thing. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, so far this still kind of supports my theory. This seems very post-run. Uh, I need you if they hadn't died. Like, dealing with the consequences of that. And would explain one of my biggest questions of what's rooting Jimin's depression. All I'm trying to, never mind. She get hit. Yeah. Time to turn the clock back. There. Where did he go? Oh, he's still there. 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 back I need you this is a month and a half after we saw Jungkook in the hospital stripes mm-hmm for your theory mixed with sadness ooh wouldn't it be a twist <gasps> the, the save me hat yep so depression that's literally saved me. And also the hat that he rolled up to Ratmon in the gas station with. Well, yeah, no, what I was saying is that scene to me, I always thought it was a stretch too far to say, are they time traveling? There are many suits house there places that came out here. Okay, so again, I don't have any firm theories. I'm gonna have to watch it a lot again and obviously watch the thing. But to me, it seems like they're rolling back. I need you. Like, what if things had shifted slightly and now they're kind of dealing with fallout? Because mm -hmm. obviously, my biggest questions going into this were, were we rolling it back so far that V didn't kill his dad? But obviously did. We saw him hands up uh, with cops coming after him and stuff like that. Um... Yeah. It'll be really interesting if the actual rollback is Jin didn't die in this timeline. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The girls are interesting. I think some of them are real and I think some of them aren't. Obviously Jin's got some kind of girlfriend figure that he's dealing with at some point. Although she 
by the looks of it, might get hit by a car, like scene one of the show. Yeah. Um, obviously there's some female figure creating a wedge between J-Hope and Jimin, or that Jimin is, like, secretly in love with. I don't know if it's, like, a J-Hope's girlfriend, J-Hope's sister, J-Hope's... I don't know, I just think that it's too... I think she might be an adopted sister. To me, that whole thing is just too weird. One, because what are the chances of Jimin and her dropping at the same time, and then J-Hope running through the rain, which is mm -hmm. Jimin's thing, and then Jimin washing blood off of his hands, like... Mm -hmm. And him, like, freaking out about his wrists, like, yeah. I think that was maybe him commit a su like trying to commit suicide, and what if they're, like, one and the same? Yeah, now that you say that, actually, wouldn't it be fascinating if she was a representation of, like, who he wants to be? Because you see her dancing next to J-Hope, and then Jim and dancing alone at night. And then there, yeah, and then there's those, like, the poster things, where it's, like, J-Hope's is, like, I'm shining when you're shining or something, or, like, I'm whatever, you yeah. know, da-da-da. And then it's the dual timelines where J-Hope's smiling and then J Jim is all depressed. Maybe yeah. Jim just hates himself. Yeah. And he's... I don't think this is going to be the case, but we know BTS has been championing minorities lately. How weirdly powerful would it be if Jimin is trans? You got that from that? Uh, like, imagining himself as a woman, his best self. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, again, do not think that's the case. I don't no, think no, they're no, no, there. No, 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 like, Wouldn't that be a powerful story? That would be a huge statement, yeah. Um, but again, quite frankly, all of those girls could be not real. Or manifestations of themselves. Yeah. Or guardian angels, even, who kind of would be double-layered as, like, a manifestation of yourself but come to protect you, because women symbolically tend to have more of like a nurturing, nurturing. caring kind of thing. Especially the one with Suga and the one with Jungkook both seem to have a healing influence over them. Mm -hmm. Like stopping them from making bad decisions or helping them. Yeah. Um, Jungkook seems very framed positively despite the fact that he's in the wheelchair. You see him like trying and being inspired and like when bad things are happening his flowers are wilting. It's, he's almost the djinn. You know, who was, like, framed in light and, like, watching the flowers burn as his friends fell apart. Yeah. Like, they did a lot with Jungkook in the last few videos, centering him as more of a pivotal character. It might be interesting if he is, like, the Jin of this story, and this time Jin is falling apart. You know? Yeah. I think it's huge, even just, like, I'm not a theorist, I don't... Theorize. None of us are really theorizing here. We just saw no, it, no, so no, throw no. out your ideas. But I'm just saying, like, not even looking at it from a theorist perspective, trying to, like, indulge and, like, decipher everything. I think just looking at it, at the video itself, yeah. it's very empowering. It is. It's, it's very... shot so well. I think this is their highest quality project. Yeah, it's just, it's, like, shows, like, youth and, like, overcoming obstacles and, like, mm -hmm. things that happen. And I just think, like, the whole thing is it's so important to love yourself because... You know, I feel like if each, you know, if Jim and just loved himself or, you know, if Jay, exactly. you know what I mean? J-Hope being abandoned as a kid, learning to love himself, but that's still being an issue and like all of these things. I don't know. I just think that. Yeah. Which is why if the girl in the Jim and J-Hope thing is actually just a girl, a character, mm -hmm. I would also be pushing that she's a family, me adopted family member. Yeah. Because why would they frame her bringing a cake to him with the story of him being abandoned? That's familial. That's not really girlfriend. Uh-huh. Because yeah. why would he be finding healing from a girlfriend? Yeah, definitely. You know, which would be kind of disappointingly simple, but it would make sense if Jimin has a crush on J-Hope's sister, and that's an issue. Yeah. But I, I really like your idea that they're, that's a manifestation of Jimin. Which, I just thought it was too weird that they dropped at the same time. Yeah, no, there was a lot of linking symbolism there. Yeah, and, like, Jimin was, um, like, washing blood off his hands, but it's like, I don't think Jimin killed her. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't think so either. I, I was wondering if he gotten hurt or something, because it's very similar to V cleaning the blood off his hands. But we also do know that Jimin was suicidal, and he was in a bathtub, and that's a pretty common way to kill yourself, is slitting your wrists in a bathtub. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me with this video, they're sort of not censoring as much. Like, instead of a lollipop as a cigarette, we're seeing cigarettes. Even mm -hmm. though they're not, none of them were lit, you don't see them smoking. Yeah. But, I mean, you do see that symbolism. In the Japanese version of, I think it was I Need You, they do have a lot of symbolism for slit wrists. 
and they like uh, V landing in the water and like paint is coming out from under him and it's not red but you know obviously there's an imagery there yeah for sure um the one with V could be again his inner self like struggling with his own kind of because uh, we know that he did a lot of illegal stuff in Run, like graffiti and stuff. But it could also be his sister, I think. I think that's his sister. That's who he's defending. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure, I mean, it looks like that girl. Yeah, I've heard... So there have been a couple of theories that people have been posting in our comments that I've heard. Um, like, comments about the girls being their moms. They've gone back in time or something like that. But to me, they cast the girls so young. And Jim is, and J-Hope's mom abandoned him. That doesn't make any yeah. sense. Why would she abandon him and then decide to come back as a guardian angel? Too? Well, no, they mean that they went back in time to stop their moms from making decisions. Like, to save them in some way. I don't think that's the case so far. Oh, oh. Like, you know, all of them time-traveled back? Yeah, like, the, people are pointing out, like, Rat Monster was really poor, and you would see his mom figure, like, trying to hand out flyers to make money, or... Um, V's mom being kind of a delinquent and getting into trouble with a husband who's alcoholic. That's why he's stopping her and trying to change their lives kind of thing. But hmm. to me, I think they would have cast them older. Yeah. If they were trying to do that. Because these girls are either their age or younger. And there was no Definitely. one for Jimin. So was J-Hope yeah. and Jimin like the... Well, some people are saying they're adopted brothers or something like that. But I, I don't know. We don't have anything for firm. We support whatever you... So far... To me, it feels like either they're manifestations of themselves or... That's what I think would be more adequate. Um, or half and half. Like half manifest, half real people. Because mm -hmm. um, like in Jungkook's timeline, you saw two girls. One who seemed very guardian angel and the girl playing the music who has the lighter. So I'm assuming that's the girl who was attached to Sugar. Sugar. But yeah. that kind... That people were watching her play. So to me, that feels more like a real person. Yeah, and Ratmon's girl on the bus and handing out flyers. Like, yeah. what would that represent? So I have no idea what they're doing with that. Outside of Jin, who's dating a girl, obviously. Well, he's always waiting for her with flowers. And then in the poster, he's outside with flowers, which kind of mirrors flowers on a date and then flowers on her grave. Yeah. Um, so she, I'm assuming, is real and has some kind of romantic attachment to one of them, but I don't think she's going to last in the series long. Um, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Is this the opening for their K-drama? This is tied to the K-drama, yeah. <gasps> Holy macaroni, I had no idea. Oh. Yeah, these are like the teasers for the drama. Love Yourself is the drama they're going to do that starts in September. Why did I think that it was an album coming out? People have been... Well, they are doing a comeback, too. But they're, they're this is for the K-drama. And it might be a song, too, but, like, this is going to be, like, actually played out in full. Well, I'll be done. That's why I'm not doing an official theory on it. That's so exciting. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's why I'm, like, I'm not trying to form any firm theories. So these are going to be, like, actual like, Yeah, so episodes. we're actually going to see this story. Oh, my God. I already want to cry, like, thinking is, about the trailers. Yeah, which is why pe so many people are like... Oh, this is going to be a heartbreaking... You know, this is going to wrap up the story. And I think it will. From what I'm seeing, this seems like they have... If they're going to make this a drama of any length, this could really wrap up the story nicely. Because... It will explain everything, yeah. In Blood, Sweat, and Tears Japanese version, in my original theory, I was going to talk about time travel. But to me, that seemed a little too sci-fi. For what they were doing. That's why I talked about, you know, did Jin warn Rat Monster before they died? Is he an angel Well, you've after he talked died? to me a lot about the time travel aspect. Yeah, I, I did, but I, I kind of avoided it here. But to me, this kind of validates that idea. There is some time travel thing going on because Jin's narrative, obviously. And then the stripes. He catches the, the flowers. End. Yeah, the stripes being tied to the afterlife, in my theory at least. But it, the, the train was going backwards at one point. When Jin was talking about if, what would happen if we could go back. Yeah. So that's why some people t had the mom theory. Like, what if we went back and stopped oh. the cycle? But I think what we're going to see is what if we went back to prologue when they were all on the beach and happy. <sighs> that's why he had the picture from prologue on his window. Yeah. Um, 
I think they're going to be, I think this is light timeline. I think they're going to go back because we've been watching so far the worst case scenario of mm -hmm. their lives. Yeah. I think this is, what if we took it back and did, we've seen snippets of light timeline through this whole thing. What if we did sort of the best case scenario? Yeah, like went back their and changed could the been. things. Yeah. If like, that never happened. Like still dealing with some of their consequences, but it's like, what if, instead of burning himself alive, Suga had found a way to find some peace with his creativity. Or, you know, V, it seems like it's still having to like, deal with the consequences of his life and his actions, but he's like living and making better decisions. Or like, maybe Jungkook's best timeline, instead of getting hit by a car, he's healing. You, you know what I mean? Like, what a powerful wrap up of like, this is what could go horribly wrong, but when you seek help and have the right influences in your life, here's how that same life could have changed. Wow, K-drama. Right? I don't know. That's kind of my current theory. But, I mean, we're going to see. Is it going to be on, like, be, be Live or purchase it? I don't know. I just Sorry. know that it starts airing in September. I'm, I'm hoping they just now. upload it to their channel, like, yeah. doing the teasers. Um, but I'll pay for it. <laughs> if it I'll pay for away. it. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. I, but, yeah, it starts in September, so it could start very, very soon. That was all very beautiful. Like, yeah, it was. The cinematography was yeah, definitely it was. phenomenal. And all the acting seems on point. Yeah. And Looking forward to it. We're in for a ride. If Big Hit's got anything to say about it, we're in for a ride. Yes. So tell me your theories down in the comments. Um, what you're thinking. What's going on. Again, we're all going to find out when we watch it. So it's not about being right. It's about coming up with cool stories. Yeah. So as always, I, I'm not saying I'm right. <laughs> I'm basically writing fan fiction in theory format is what my life is. So, tell me what your ideas are. Tell me what you'd like to see. Tell me what questions you might want answered, like, from the theories and stuff. Or just be excited this is coming out. Yay! Yay! We're excited. We're super excited. Glad we got to, I got to watch it with you guys. So, until next time. Live long and prosper. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Bye! Bye.